Hi there YouTube, Leandro Wolves coming to you here from South Africa. I uh, just decided to make a short little video about all my tobaccos, my tobacco equipment, my cellar tobaccos and my pipe. So I'm not going to be um, too slow of this, I'm going to take it uh, through for you a bit quick. Um, first of all I want to start here, all over here you can see I've got these two boxes which have got my spare equipment in. Um, lighters, pipe tampers, if I've got another Peterson in there which I'm willing to trade Peterson Bulldog but I'll get to that later. These are my two cellar tobaccos, I got here uh, Samuel Garworth Chocolate Flake which is absolutely amazing, I bought two of these tins which is really, you don't find it here in South Africa. The other one is Peterson Hyde Park um, which I'm still waiting to try. Uh, a little thing I got over here is a nice pipe ashtray um, currently I'm not using it as an ashtray, I'm using it as a little dustbin just throwing all the junk uh, okay, so my tobaccos over here, I've got another Hyde Park. Um, this one's still empty, I'm waiting to spit something in there. Over here, I've got a nice English tobacco called Yin Yang Tobacco. It's made by McLintock, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't know if anybody else has ever seen this before because apparently it's quite rare. Here it is uh, McLintock Yin Yang Tobacco. And it goes under dark. And it's, it's a very, very, very good English. Uh, the other one over here that I got is Davidoff's Flake Medallions. Lovely VA Perique tobacco. And over here, um, it's not actually vanilla cream, it is an English blend, which I got from a good friend. It is GLP's Abington and GLP's Key Lago, which I just basically threw a little bit that I had left. I just threw them together and that's a quite nice spicy smoke over there, which I really enjoy. Um, we don't get a lot of these tobaccos in South Africa, we only basically get Peterson and McBaron, McBaron tobaccos which is actually quite a shame. Over here I got a McBaron plum cake which I'm cellaring for um, for the past year now so I'm waiting for that to just ferment a bit. Over here I've got another McBaron roll cake and plum cake which I threw together a long time ago because I didn't really enjoy them but I'm, I'm wanting to try them now. Um, Via is a local house blend. Um, it's alright, it's got a bit of a tongue bite, it's also English blend. Um, so yeah, I'm just keeping that to see if the, if the age can make it a bit better than what it currently is. Via got Peterson Connoisseur's Choice and Gold Blend, which I threw together. These are basically mostly my English tobaccos all the way from there. Um, this, I don't even know what this is. This is a cheap drugstore tobacco, but you did a cocoa. Um, English. It's uh, um, aromatic, sorry. It's not too bad, but it's just I'm not enjoying aromatic tobaccos that much anymore. It's got a bit of a liqueur taste. Um, it's alright, but yeah, it's there's nothing more than a fragrance for me. Over here I got Peterson Sorensen Navy Blend. Um, it's, it's, it's good, it's a quality leaf, but uh, it's a bit on the bland side. There's no richness to it or anything, so I'm looking to add something maybe to it, maybe a nice English um, over here are all my pipes. I've got a Turkish Meerschaum over here, which is quite lovely. I got it for my birthday about two years ago uh, when I just started smoking pipes. Really wanted a Meerschaum, so well, this is the estate. Over here, I got a little adventurer pipe. I think this is a it's a Lorenzo. No, it's an Angelo. Sorry, this is a little Angelo pipe. No, it's nice when you go out camping. I'll take that with. Over here I've got a Big Ben, a Big Ben Roll Light. It's also a lovely pipe. And I just love the grain on that. It's beautiful. Um, over here I've got two corn cob pipes, which I got from also local tobacconists. We don't actually get these in South Africa. I was lucky to find them. Over here I've got a pipe that I bought. It's actually my first pipe three years ago. After watching The Hobbit, I decided I wanted a pipe, so my fiance got me. This is an Angelo, and it smokes absolutely great for a cheap pipe. I say I paid about thirty dollars for it. This is also a pipe that I bought lately. Also, some sort of no name, but the grain on it is the grain on it is gorgeous. Nice sandblast grain over there. Then over here, I got a Design Berlin Skipper. It's a quite unique pipe, smokes lovely, um, yeah, I paid about $70 for this, lovely pipe. 
Then I got a few pipes here that I don't actually smoke that lot. I got a lot of Lula. I got a Falcon. I've got a Church Warden over here. I've got some sort of a, a no-name Apollo real briar. Then over here I've got a little clay pipe, which I use to test my tobaccos in. The stem broke, so I just use like sellotape to extend it when I feel like a church warden smoke. So those are my pipes. Um, is excluding two. The second one, like I said, is up there. It's my Peterson Silver Sterling Bulldog, which I'll show to you in the next uh, video. And then the other one, which is not here, is my newest, latest to my collection. It is a Lorenzo Estate pipe from 1979, I believe, as a tobacconist said, if, it's, if he's not lying. Um, it's a Lorenzo Novell Vogue, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, and it has numbers 24 and 79 on the back. Via some of my lighting equipment, via I've got uh, tobacco matches, uh, pipe matches which are quite thicker and longer than normal matches um, and we have just got a double sided lighter uh, but the one side broke I'm not sure what happened, it's quite cool and we have got a long match <laughs> match lighter, also got to refuel that actually and we have got a normal and oh, it's not a Zippo some sort of aftermarket Zippo kind of lights, I'm not sure. And then over here I've got my Zippo pipe lighter. Um, this is this is a pretty cool cool lighter. I use it quite often. Got to refuel that as well. Over here I've got my ashtray. This I made myself. It's it's quite handy with the little cork over there. Um, Denny cool crystals because I'm a person who usually prefers filters. As you can see over here I've got an entire pack of nine millimeter charcoal filters. I just enjoy it more. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not used to just smoking a pipe without a filter, but um, I'm currently trying to move over to not smoking with filters anymore. There's just a tobacco pouch that I have. Um, quite handy for when I when I go out. Um, these are also just my pipe cleaners, what I use to clean and polish my pipes. Some fluid. Um, this is actually a pipe cleaner, it's actually quite handy. Pressurized pipe cleaner. Suitable for most pipe sweetens, refresh and sterilizers. CFC free. Shake container before use. Uh, it's quite handy. Here is the box of the pizza that I have, but you know, I'm actually looking to sell that pipe. And these are all the tins that I've smoked before. Except this little baby over here. This one I did not smoke. I got that. I uh, asked one of my friends if I could just get the tin because you never see this. You don't get Daniel in South Africa, which is really a shame because it's an amazing tobacco. Um, like I so said, you only get Peterson and McBaron tobaccos. Yeah. And only the two Samuel Garth I stated before is this 2012 limited edition champagne, which is absolutely horrible. And then a chocolate flake, which is again quite amazing. So there you have it, here's my little collection, my tobaccos and my accessories. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.